And let's talk about the path to freedom. How to break free from feeling dead inside. I wanted to share this really important message that came forth last night. Trent and I were in the hot tub and it seems like whenever we get together and we are free of children and obligations, we just go into a different realm. We go into maybe a different dimension and we just start getting to work behind the veil for the earth. And it's been like that lately. So we go into a lot of, we just deeply connect in, uh, meditate, and then we just start doing things that are coming from the core of our being, like we are masters that don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it kind of thing. So I, it was very, very windy last night and energy is moving and there was some malevolent energy moving in the wind and I was working on that. And then I'll go into a place where I just hold open an energy field, like a portal or I will, what I was doing last night was pulling in all the parasites into this vortex, into the Pearl of Great Price healing chamber from different locations, new ones that had surfaced, even the sun. And we were working on the entire universe, pulling these discordant energies in. And the way that I work, it might seem unbelievable. So take what resonates for you or muscle test if it's really happening because I do it myself too. I'm like, is this really happening? I can't believe it. But okay, I will do it. And clearly my training in Montana, the, um, it's an amazing training ground. Um, if you ever want like the best training to be, your best you could be at things with strength and endurance, this is your place. And so I was pulling in all this energy and I pull it into my creation center. And this often feels like a lead ball a bowling ball inside of me. It's so heavy and so dense. And I just want to, I feel like I don't even want to live sometimes. It's so, there's not words to describe it. And so I bring this in and this is how Trent and I do healing together. If you feel like I'm a powerhouse, it's only because we work as a team together. And then Briella connects in with us, creating this Trinity energy of divine feminine, masculine, inner child energy. So we kind of all like Trent is the support behind me. And so I take this density in and then I surrender it all to him. I give it up. And I have to trust that I can give it to him without hurting him or being too much. And he has to trust me. And it's this perfect balance. This is where we have to have that divine masculine feminine energy within ourselves before we can even think of connecting to our divine counterpart. Divine counterparts 101, sign up for the divine masculine and feminine balance session. Seriously. And then he transmutes it and then he gives it back to me as bliss. Doesn't that sound like a fun way to heal the earth and heal each other? We're going to be learning how to do this at Sacred Fusion. And I'm so excited to like open up this and send couples with this gift out into the world. And so we were like this, these big, big shifts happening for the earth last night. And it was, I was reminded of last year when we were at Haleakua, which means God's house. It's where we're having the Sacred Fusion retreat. There is a portal there to the 12th dimension that I just happen to know how to open. So it's very high. It feels like we're not on earth anymore there. It's like when you step out of it, it it's like, oh, I'm back down on earth again. That was so crazy being up there. Anyway, 11-11 last year, we were there for our own sacred fusion. Trent and I together setting the framework for what we're doing this year. And we were sitting in a portal inside the bathtub. There's these pillars and plants growing on the pillars. It's two stories high. And then there's this glass window over the top and it's actually a portal in a vortex. And it's built into the ground and everything is anchored in with stone. So it's very high vibration, but also very grounded at the same time. That's what, why very powerful work can be done there. And where I've done a lot of this new earth work 
And we were there last year building and weaving the container for sacred fusion and divine unions to be restored back on the earth. And something came to me. I've shared this song before and listened to it. It's a beautiful song. Don't judge the artist, but I think it's called This Love by Taylor Swift. And what she talks about is falling from love. We fall and we get disconnected from love. And then we start coming back to ourselves and we come back to love. And I saw that as a reflection of us in our earth journey, we, if you have light within you, we're connected to a place and source that feels like pure peace, pure love, pure serenity. And we fell into this fallen matrix and we forgot who we were. Amnesia. And we essentially became disconnected from love. And I was weaving all of these different scenarios together. If you want the like real time podcast about what happened in detail, that's not a year old, go and look, find my podcast from as close to 1111, 2023 as you can after 1111. I talked about all the different weavings that were coming in and I saw these beings and I was feeling all of it fall down to earth. And they were like a stone and paralyzed, unable to move or feel anything, completely disconnected. And just like I used to do when I was paralyzed and I would try to move my toe and just move one little part. And if I can move that, then I can start to move a little bit more energy. That is how we break free. We have to start feeling again. If there's a place that feels dead inside to you, it's because you stopped feeling it and therefore it got stuck. Emotion is E equals motion, energy in motion. It is meant to flow. Whenever we put up walls, or try to shut things down, we create a block. And it stops the flow of energy, creating stagnation, dis-ease, and dysfunction in your body. Depressed is when the body is in such a deep state of stagnation that your body feels like you are resting. And everything is imploding inward on you. And it's starting to do that because it's so heavy. They say that I believe black holes self implode because of the density pulling in the energy force. That's what happens to our bodies when you're depressed. You have stopped feeling and moving the energy in motion that is meant to flow. Emotion. Get stuck paralyzed. That's where I said earlier, it might be helpful to have someone in your team who can give you a jump start. The battery is dead. We're disconnected right now. We need a restart so we can get moving. Again. And when I saw these beings and felt them fall to earth, usually the first emotions that came up to be felt were not what we would consider pleasant emotions. It may have been horror or fear, or pain, frustration, <laughs> failure, unworthiness. Whatever it was, I saw that we have to feel it. And that's part of taking ownership for our own healing journey. Nobody's going to feel it for us. And no matter what the emotion, we need to stop assigning this one's bad. This one's good. No, that one's got to go under the rug. There's a song by NF called Mansion. Listen to it. It's about building this house, building this mansion with all these walls and trapped parts of himself inside of it. And then he reveals that I'm the only one that can open the door, but I'm afraid. How do, and then he's, you know, trapped in the cycle. That's what happens to us. We get trapped in our own mansion of horrors in our own body. 
And did you know that trapped emotions and trauma can transmute into an entity, what you would consider maybe a demon or a dark being in your own body? Many and most of the entities that we find in the human body are self-created because they grow out of the darkness, the stagnation, the cesspool that is building up within you. What grows in a cesspool? Parasites? What grows in a beautiful running stream that is clean water because it's been, everything just keeps flowing and it's not building up. It's safe to drink right out of the earth. I actually do this a lot. I drink water right out of the earth when it's pure, which is in a lot of places in the Hana side of Maui. They have spots where if you can find a parking spot, you can go fill your water bottle out of the side of the hill. It's beautiful. It's amazing water, light living water. So we need to start feeling. And that would be, if I'm going to give you any homework, it would be, I don't like to say homework, but an assignment if you feel led to connect. Think of a place that feels shut down, disconnected, unloved, numb, stagnant, dead. And give your body permission to feel, give your permission body, give yourself permission to see what is going on there. And by observing it through quantum physics, they have noted that we can change our environment by observing it, simply by observing. How can we observe? We must be in the moment, in the present. Most of our patterns in the industrialized world are focused on the future, what's coming up, being anxious about all these things going on. But then at the same time, don't forget the past. Make sure you carry all that baggage with you and feel guilty and horrible for the rest of your life. And you've got all of this together, which prevents us from ever being just in the moment. And then the world shifts because we're actually present and observing from zero point field, which is the place where we can create from in the now moment. So you get to do it or not. We can't force anyone to feel. That's why alcohol is so promoted. And I forgot to give my disclaimer. Everything's for enter entertainment purposes only. Take it or leave it. The alcohol, the reason it's so promoted, why? It's a depressant. Brings down your energy level, opens portals for entities to attach into you. You become the perfect parasite food. Draining your life force energy. It's not called booze or spirits for no reason at all. It lowers your neurotransmitters, the activity in your body, imbalances your hormones and balances the healthy bacteria in your body, overloads your liver and your detox and lymph system. I could probably go on for quite a while. Yet it's heavily promoted. Almost every movie, almost every commercial with people, what are they doing? Drinking. If you want to socialize and have any type of fun or life, you need to drink. Programming to keep you depressed. Notice what they're not promoting. Healthy foods, sunshine, enough rest, hugging a tree, taking a bath. Oh wait, all of those are free and those would actually raise your energy instead of lowering it. We wouldn't want that now, would we? Here's some more pharmaceutical drugs to depress you more and open more energy openings for entities to attach. You're going to be the perfect candidate for our matrix program. Are you signing up and volunteering? Not me. No, thank you. You get to decide. And that's the beauty of it. It's your own journey. 
And it's really powerful to teach our children. It's your own journey. Don't blame me. I did what I could do to support you. You were given what you needed to thrive and survive. And if you squandered it, that's your choice. And then it's my choice how I'm going to respond. Am I going to keep feeding that behavior or pull away my energy because I'm not aligned to it? And I don't want to be feeding something that's hurting someone. And another revelation, I've had this for a while, but I just finally thought to put it into words, is that a lot of us need to break to become the newest version of ourselves. There's parts of us that we cannot take to the next level. And this is where we have to let go of everything to move to the next level of ex expanded consciousness of light, rising up out of the hell matrix. We're doing it and you can choose to do it or not. But it's our own journey. And you're going to exasperate yourself trying to control what other people are doing around you because we have free will and it's now being honored. But if you want to keep feeding the parasites, more power to you. That's your choice. <laughs>